When I met you in the summer To my heartbeat sound We fell in love As the leaves turn brown And we could be out But you like so So, 12 12 units, I do Probably 15 units is the best option I would say between 12 and 15. There are always those kids that come in and be, oh yeah, I'm taking 19, and people are kind of impressed, but don't be. It's just not a, I don't think it's a great idea. Uh, I went into fall quarter of freshman year taking 20 units, and the problem was I didn't think about the energy, emotionally and physically, that it would take to transition to Stanford. And there's so many things that you really need to do during your first quarter, like signing up for clubs. Go to office hours. Moving in, getting acclimated, finding my classes to get to know the campus as well as possible. Just being a freshman in the fall is kind of like a three unit class in itself or a five unit class in itself. I would recommend maybe one class that you think will be a challenge, especially, and then keep the rest pretty standard. Try keeping it light freshman fall. I know you'll be eager to take classes, but you'll have plenty of time in the next three or four years, I guess, to take those classes. As the leaves turn brown. My biggest regret was probably not joining all of the things that I thought were interesting and that I had a desire to join. Sign up for all the email lists. Just do it. Don't show any restraint. I think my major regret was probably like staying too much with what I was comfortable with. I think when I came freshman year, I had this pressure to do things that I knew I was good at. And I really wish that I had kind of gone out of my way to try something totally different. I didn't take care of myself at all. Um, I think Part of it is it feels like summer camp for a long time, even though you're getting grades and you're doing school. Um, and so I'd stay up till three and eat Lucky Charms for dinner. And as much fun as that is, it doesn't make you feel so good at the end of freshman year. My biggest regret is taking too many units fall quarter. I came from high school with like a superhero complex, thinking I could do everything. So if I wanted to join everything and if I wanted to take every class, I could and I'd be fine. And so that was really hard. Um, I had to like get rid of my ego and put a lot of things aside and settle down and figure out what was best for me here. But I've learned a lot from it. I mean, I can give you advice. Um, do it, but also sleep and eat vegetables. That's a tough question because there's so many great classes that you could take at Stanford. So I think a must-take class is one that you define, and then there are a bunch of popular classes that everyone will tell you are cool. I think Psych 1. Psych 1. Psych 1, which is an introduction to psychology. There's CS106A. CS106A. Which is an introduction to computer programming. Uh, we'll be one of those study group classes where everyone in your door is taking it. It's a whole lot of fun. They're really great professors that are super involved in their research. I think a must-take class is a class that really resonates with what you're interested in. I think that probably came through Intro sense where it allows you some flexibility to do something that maybe not is not in your major and maybe you aren't super comfortable with yet. So for me, a must-take class was this one global health class that really helped us look at social entrepreneurship models. I'd also take things like sand volleyball or rock climbing. If I had to choose one, I took one this last spring called Engineering 103, which was a public speaking class. I think social dance was phenomenal and everyone should really try and take it. It was a blast, not near as awkward as I thought it might be. These kinds of resources you won't really have another time, so I think it's important to build in those one unit sort of for break fun classes. First of all, you need to not be intimidated by Stanford professors. And you can go to them with any questions you have about projects, homework, or P sets. And what is the P set? Oh, okay, the problem set, also known as homework, but it sounds slightly more intimidating. Don't worry about it, it's the same thing. <laughs> I think one classic way to do it is show up with a question. Just in general, if you're not comfortable going into office hours, send your professor an email, get to know them. You could go so far as to like look at one of their papers that they published and maybe just read part of the abstract. You don't have to like know their stuff all the way, but just enough to show that you are interested in what they're doing. And I think they would love that and definitely be willing to talk. It can be really intimidating to get to know the professors here at campus. I know for myself, I've had professors are like the leading fellows in their, in their field. So one of them, John Taylor, was President Bush's chief ec economic advisor. And I remember having him for my Econ 1 class my freshman fall and being so intimidated and being like, who am I to go up and say hi to him after class or go to his office hours. And I actually didn't, I did go to one of his office hours and I remember sitting down with him and he sat me down for 20 minutes and we didn't talk about 
econ at all. We just talked about his life, we talked about my life, what I want to do at Stanford and... Integrate it into your schedule because the office hours give you a chance to really connect with the professor, especially for bigger classes, they'll know your face. And otherwise they sit in their office hours and they're there by themselves. So just go in and talk to them, they're normal people too. Uh, so treat office hours as if they were just regular class time and it will really make a difference. I dried my clothing by hanging it on every surface in my room because I didn't have one of those drying racks. But I hung them like out of my window, I hung them on top of my closet, or I hung them and then hung them to the light on top in the middle of your room so they were just hanging off of my light. Yeah. Definitely buy a drying rack.